Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about the path to the PMPT certification. So I'm sure you guys heard this, these acronyms, it's the buzzword around the cybersecurity and ethical hacking field. It's an awesome certification from what I hear. You know, it, you know, it's affordable and we'll go into all that stuff. So if you guys are new to the channel, welcome, please like, subscribe and all that stuff. And if you guys are returning, to hear me blah, 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 blah about this uh, PMPT, stay tuned, right? So I wanna talk about my path and what I'm doing today going forward, right? I've been studying for it for a while. Last year, I wanted to take it, but life got in the way. And you guys probably heard this on streams. And when I was on with, uh, I asked uh, uh, Zach Hill from TCM Security a few questions when I was on live with him. But I wanna go over what I'm using and what I'm doing to study. So number one, there's the practical ethical hacking course, right? This is the first course you should be taking if you're preparing for this exam. And even if you're getting into the field, if you're new to the field, if you're you know, senior or mid-level, there's always something to learn. Remember that, there's always something to learn. You don't know it all. Maybe you know the way you get into a box, maybe someone else will get in you know, the box differently. And I used to use this analogy in class, right? If I wanna break into your house, I can break into your front door, I can break into your back door, I can break into your window, but my goal is to steal that TV, for an example, right? So it's the same concept, right? In, in, in this exam, from my understanding, the main thing is to get domain admin rights, right? Own the domain, okay? So enough of me blabbering about that. So the second one here, we'll, we'll do Windows Privilege Escalation, right? Third is Linux Privesk. Fourth is OSINT Fundamentals. And these courses are awesome. And External Pen Test Playbook is number five. You complete all of these, you study, you get through all these courses, and it should prep you for the PMPT. Okay, so let's minimize this for a sec, for now. So these are the courses, right? So I'm about 75% done here. I did the OSINT, I did the playbook. I did stuff a little backwards. Um, before I even started thinking about the PMPT, even if you're not going for the PMPT, having these courses at the price that Heath puts them out and you can get discounts and you can get stuff for really, really cheap, right? And that's his whole, you know, drive behind his his company, you know, and his uh, his academy, right? For having, to have folks that maybe don't have a lot of money, you know, because going for like OSCP and all these other certifications are mega box, right? And not everyone is loaded. So these are very, very affordable. And you can, you know, sometimes you get some for 10 bucks or 20 bucks, even for $30, you know, for the, for the courses, you can't really beat that. And my thing is, if you enjoy someone's content, if someone's doing good for the community, support them. I always say this, for an example, let me, let me get off topic for a second. If I'm gonna, if, if your friend is a barber, right? And he's just a new barber, right? Like you've been going to one guy for the last five years and you like the way he cuts your hair, right? And you're giving him 30, 40 bucks for your haircut. And now, you know, Steven, your new, you know, your friend that just became a good, he, he's a decent barber. He's not maybe as good, you know, hear my gist. But I wanna support Steven because he's my friend He's someone I know, like, why not give him the business? He means something to me. The guy that's been cutting my hair, yeah, he's just a barber, but he's, I'm giving him 30 bucks. He's supporting his family, but why not support the people that are around me? So that's the way I feel with Heath. I don't know him personally, but what he's done in the community is amazing things. So I feel like, you know, support him, you know? And, uh, and there's a link in the description. You know, if you want any of these courses, you can use that link. So yeah, so uh, Windows Privesk, Linux, uh, the Linux stuff I haven't really touched too much, too much on, and then the OSINT and then the playbook, right? So these five courses, and I know I'm rambling on, so what is the you know, practical network penetration tester? I really think, I'm really digging this because this is where I come from. I come from more of the networking systems background. 
You know, like I'm not a web app guy. So this is super, super interesting to me. So it's an associate intermediate level certification. So, you know, obviously I'm not gonna read all of this, but the details are it's intermediate. It's a five, you have five days to complete this exam. So it's pretty much like an engagement, right? If you work as a pen tester today, you know, your client gives you a five day, you know, you charge them 40 hours and you just go to town and your, you know, your objective is to own a domain if it's an internal assessment or if it's external, it all depends. But here we have, an, I, from my understanding, we have an external network. We have to compromise that external network, probably using some OSINT, reason being that that's in the, the, the path of the course. And then maybe use, utilizing those maybe credentials or usernames and you know you can go on the interwebs and you know search out stuff. I don't know, I haven't taken the exam. I'm just guesstimating at the moment. So you have five days to complete it, two days to write the report, and then you do a live debrief. And this is pretty cool because this is pretty much how you do an assessment, right? Like when you're done doing the assessment, you write your report, and then you debrief this to the client. So in this case, TCM will be our client. So in order to receive the certification, you know, you must perform OSINT. This is, I didn't even read this yet. Um, and then you leverage an Active Directory exploitation. You know, you're going to exploit, you know, AD, perform a AV and ingest bypassing. So I'm guessing AV is antivirus. Lateral, you know, do some lateral movement. And then obviously, ultimately, you want to compromise the domain controller, right? So, whoops. So then you can provide a detailed report and, you know, so on and so forth. And Heath has, you know, if you guys, you know, are familiar with, he, he has a, um, a template on his GitHub on a report. So you can utilize that. But I'm not sure if they give you a template report to utilize or you just use your own. That I don't know. Um, so this is another thing. It's very, very affordable. So the, before we get into it, the prerequisites are intermediate IT knowledge. Obviously, you need to know Windows, Linux, networking, what is Active Directory. And if you guys are going for this and, you know, Heath's Active Directory course is good or part. But if you have any more questions about AD or Windows Server, I have some videos on Windows Server so you can check those out. So ultimately, a strong desire to learn. You have to want to, want to learn, right? And even after this exam, you still want to continue to learn. So, so this is another thing, what I like, there's no flags. So I hate CTFs. To be honest, like I was never into the CTF world. Um, it's a good practice, it's a good learning curve, but I, I do them because it, it's fun, but it's not like I'm like a killer. I go to CTF competitions and stuff like that. You know, it's not multiple choice, like maybe like some other exams out there. So. The voucher only. So say, for example, you want to just willy nilly, you think you're the man, pay them 300 bucks and attempt the exam, right? So the voucher and with the training. So let's go ahead and just open this up. What is the voucher and the training? So I'm assuming it's the training that's associated with it. So you pay 300 bucks and you get, yep, yeah, you get all five courses. So that's, that's awesome. So for 400 bucks, you get that. And this is their new, I gotta sneeze, so I'm sorry. <coughs> Excuse me. So this is pretty cool. This is, um, if you're new to the career, new to the field and you haven't worked in cyber, this is awesome because this gives you that uh, career services. So check this out as well. And um, this is pretty dope. This is really, really sick. I'm, I'm really digging what they're doing. So take control of the, you know, they, they can do mock interviews if you never interviewed before because people are, you know, really good pen testers or whatever, but they don't have the soft skills, right? The soft skills are super, super critical. I was a total opposite. As you can see, I don't shut up. But, you know, I'm not your typical nerd. You know, I, I like to talk and I like to jibber jabber and I can just, you know, blow smoke and just talk, talk about anything. But yeah, so let's go back here. So you can choose one of three exam options, you know, exam only, you know, exam plus training, and then the whole shebang, the career services and everything. So even for a thousand bucks, that's super cheap for what you're getting. 
So it's like this, this is lower than just the OSCP by itself. So people like probably comparing the PMPT with o, uh, OSCP. So I think this thing is going to blow out the water, b blow them out the water, but that's just me. And practical plus real world, right? Excuse me. Uh, we're almost done. I, I'll start wrapping it up. So pretty much you can go to their site and see others. And I like this right here. Where is the, um, the support? I've tried to contact phone number, for example, with OFSEC. Um, there was no way because I, I had some problems with my OSCP and I had some questions and I could never get in touch with anyone. Right. This was this was a while back. And I just gave up on them. You know what I mean? I was like, you know what? I, I, I don't know. So a lot of these companies, they don't even have a phone number on their sites through email. It's through this. Even if you email them, they never write back. You write to them in their Discord. They never get back to you. It's just like they just take your money and, and run. That's, that's my experience. You know, I'm just talking from my experience. But um, mock job interview, blah, blah, blah. Application simulation mock job interview and less than a thousand dollars that's what i was saying it's everything's less than a thousand dollars you can't beat it right so yeah and you just keep going on and then hopefully the goal is to get this bad boy with your your fancy name on it so hopefully this answers any questions or i don't even know if it's any questions this is i want to document my journey and um yeah this is a little bit about the my pmpt uh journey i'm doing all the courses here up here and after this i'll probably you know i have my own lab set up at home i'll probably attack my machines maybe i'll make some videos on that as well and uh yeah just and hopefully go for this exam sooner rather than later with a few of the folks that i'm studying with and yeah hopefully this is informative for you folks and thank you so much for viewing if you have any questions leave them in the comments below thank you